How's it going everyone? You're watching the Green Dream Project. Jim here and I'm about to do something that's non-rainwater harvesting related. Can you believe it? I can't. I'll tell you what we are gonna do. We're gonna finally finish off this shed. Now we built this shed with a timber frame but we filled it out using a fiber adobe technique just shredded paper and adobe and we just slapped it inside there. Well not quite. We have a playlist you can go check it out see what we did. But it's time to finish this thing up because we don't have anything protecting the outside walls. We need a plaster to go on this. But right now we're gonna work on a very efficient way to cool this shed. Being off grid, we don't have a ton of energy to just be using air conditioning willy nilly, having fans everywhere. But we need to cool off the inside of the shed. And the way to do it is to get the right airflow going through the shed. That's what I'm gonna work on right now. We're gonna install a solar chimney. Come along, let's get this thing installed. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long. Knock it out real quick. All right, now I'm on top of the shed. Putting holes in our tanks made me nervous. This is probably second to that. <laughs> now I gotta put a hole in the roof. Not quite as daunting as putting a hole in your water supply, but still, it could be a little nerve wracking. You wanna put a hole in, in the roof and then all of a sudden you get a downpour or something like that. But I'm gonna try and use the trusty hole dozer and see if this works. I'm just gonna take it nice and slow. I think I'm gonna bring up the saws, I'll finish it off with that. Woo. Watch out, sharp edges here. All right, now I'm thinking that this hole is not gonna, still not gonna be big enough for what I need, but I'm gonna double check. Yeah, as suspected, I'm gonna have to widen this up quite a bit. Hole dozer, you failed me. Nah, I was expecting it. I think I might have to turn the camera off for this. I can't show any of this. Not that I don't want to, but I'm afraid if I start sawing on this while I have the camera on the roof, <laughs> it's just gonna shake this whole thing and knock the camera off. So we're going dark mode. Dang! Well, this most certainly isn't the prettiest of holes. Mission accomplished. Totally big enough for this pipe to go through. Plenty of room. Now I'm stuck. But it's a little bigger than I needed, but that's okay, because I got one of these things. I believe this will just slap on top of the roof like that, and it's a rubber seal. It should seal this roof off real nice when I'm done. Now this had a full on pyramid shape, but I just cut it off with a utility knife, slightly smaller than the diameter of this thing, so that the pipe should squeeze through there, and I'll create a nice seal on top as well. Now that I got the hole made, I'm gonna attach this thing onto the roof, and and place my pipe in. Jess is over there, she's messing with one of our mulch basins. I says to her, you nervous with me putting a big hole in our roof? What did you say? A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> she don't trust me, what's up with that? That's okay, I wouldn't trust me either. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Make sure the seal is firmly seated, like so. I'm gonna use some of these roofing screws that I have left over to firmly get this in place. Yeah. Now even though I have this screwed down in place and I'm not definitely not gonna go anywhere, I'm definitely not confident that this will keep water out. So I'm just gonna go along the edges of here and seal this up with a, uh, with a caulk and uh, that should be pretty good. Meanwhile, step two, the pipe. Okay, it's in. There'll still be time to adjust this if I need to. I want a decent amount of this pipe showing. You'll know why here in a bit. I think we got it. All right, I'm probably gonna have to cut this pipe up a little bit because I want to get it a little bit more flush with the roof I'm gonna put in. 
But then uh, let's go back up to the top because I got some things I gotta do back up there. Can't leave no holes in the roof. Whew. It's still the morning, but the sun's rising up and uh, it's rising up back on the streets. Did my time, took my chances. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing at the time. But anyway, I gotta finish off the top here because I can't leave this big gaping pipe hole exposed to the elements like that. Who knows what could get in? Bugs, rain, I can't have any of that. So, I got my little screen mesh. I got my little clamps that I like using. And I got one of these. Oh yeah. So what I'm gonna do, slip this over here. Slip this over this. Brought some tools with me this time. All right, that's plenty good and snug. Got that clamp over there. Now to add, to add this thing, a five inch vent cap for my four inch ABS pipe. Gives me just enough room. I want to put a couple screws in here just to hold this tight, keep it secure. All good in the hood. All good in the hood. Now I think I'm just gonna use the scissors and uh, just clean this up a little bit. Woo! Looking real sharp. Yeah. Now to get down off this roof without getting stabbed by any of my tools or falling off or breaking the camera. I think I can do that. Fingers crossed. <laughs> You know, I'm always blown away by how blessed we are to be able to be out here. I mean, we walk out of the front door and we absolutely get a view of the mountains. It's absolutely beautiful. Head around to the other side. There's a beautiful grassy field out there, all those acacias, our busted up greenhouse, <laughs> mulch basins. I love it. And look at this clouds today. We don't get to enjoy the clouds too much, so. Every now and then, it's really nice to see them. There's the pipe. <laughs> and, it, oh, man, just makes us thankful to be alive, thankful to be out here, and we just count all of our blessings. You know, it's, it's important to be grateful for those things that you have and to get to experience. All right, time to get back to work on this shed. So our project still isn't over yet. I'm looking to put vents in on these doors to help with airflow. So I'm gonna cut holes in these doors put these vents on and hopefully that'll get more airflow going from one end of the shed to the other. Yeah, that means I gotta put more holes in things. Putting holes in tanks, putting holes in roofs, now I'm putting holes in doors. Probably the very things you shouldn't be putting holes in. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> ah! So I gotta put a hole in this thing before I put a hole in this thing. Use the drill, get this thing started, then hack away with it with the Sawzall. I'd like to get this project done before dark and it's closing in right now. These things I picked up are kind of cool. It's kind of like got a vent, which lets air flow through, and then it's got a nice little screen on the other side uh, to prevent you know, any little critters from getting in, I suppose. All right, I think it's looking mighty nice. Looks like it wants to pop out a little bit, which isn't totally unexpected. Might want to put some caulk around here just to get this sealed up around the edges. So you're seeing all these pipes, these vents, and you're like, Jim, what the heck is all this supposed to do? I'm glad you asked. So what I'm trying to do here is called a solar chimney. And the concept is very simple. I just kind of put this together myself. I just want to see if this works. Maybe it'll help to kind of cool things off. But basically, you have a black pipe here. Now during the day, the sun will hit this thing and heat the air up inside the pipe, which will cause the air to come up 
and out through the top here. Now when that air comes up and out, it's gonna force more air from the inside to come up and out through this pipe. That may not normally do anything, it's just gonna replace hot air with more hot air, but that's what those vents are for. Now I place that black pipe on the south side of the building, way up top. That way it gets sun pretty much all throughout the day. Now I've placed these vents on the north side of the building where it gets shade for most of the day. I've placed the vents lower on the door, close to ground level, and I'm hoping that when the pipe pulls the hot air from the shed, this brings cooler air closer to the ground level. Will it work? I don't know. Time will tell on this. Hopefully with the combination of the earthen walls, the solar chimney, and the other things we do to finish off this shed, hopefully it can bring a little bit of temperature regulation in the shed. Now what a cool concept. The possibility of temperature regulation without you having to use any energy, just trying to be sustainable using old techniques, old technologies to try and make these buildings just that much more efficient. The shed is now this much closer to being completely finished. It should be interesting to see how well this project goes, how well it works to regulate the temperature inside. Right now, there isn't too much regulation. The temperature inside is almost pretty much the same temperature as it is on the outside. So we'll see if this does anything to it. We still have more things to do to this shed before it's done. That might also help. But this experiment should be interesting if we can get airflow going through there. If this simple technique can help regulate the temperature even just a little bit without using any kind of energy, without using any kind of electricity, a completely off-grid energy-free solution to help cool a building. This may not be the best design. There might, there might be tweaks here and there to make it more efficient. Something I thought we would try and see if it can help just a little bit. Uh, because anything that we can put in that doesn't necessarily rely on electricity and that just can get it to function by itself to make things just that much more efficient, it's just going to help us in the long run. Thanks a lot for joining us on this project. Really appreciate it. Definitely stick around because there's more stuff to do, especially on this shed, to finish it up. And we are, it is crunch time. We got to get this done. So many things coming down the pipeline. We got to get moving on this stuff. Very exciting. So stay tuned. Don't forget, you can find us at the same off-grid time at the same off-grid channel. We'll catch you on the next video.